Sean Merriman is now a player in the world of mixed martial arts with a company name featuring his nickname, Lights Out Promotions. Merriman is very excited to put on his latest card this Saturday at the Burbank Marriott. And our Chris Harry caught up with the former Chargers linebacker to talk about his involvement in the world of MMA. Tell me more about this card on Saturday, October 30th, Burbank Marriott. What do we got, Sean? Yeah, we got three title, title fights coming up. Um, we, I think we start on Fubo Sports at 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we got 12 fights for the night, maybe one or two amateurs, and we get right into the pro fights. But this is probably our biggest car yet. Um, you know, a lot of these guys have fought, you know, in the UFC and Bellator, the, the, especially the, the title fights that are coming up. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to Al Morales and Henry. That that fight is going to be a blazing one. I don't know how long it's going to last, what's going to happen, but I, I, I got to imagine that that fight is going to end up in a knockout. When did your passion for MMA begin? You know, it, it started um, after my 2005 year, my rookie year. Uh, you know, a friend of mine, Jay Glazer, had said, uh, you know, you should come in and try some MMA because it would help your hands and, and your leverage and balance and so forth. Um, I grew up boxing in the PG County area in Washington, D.C. area. There's tons of professional boxers. My uncles were boxers, professional boxers. So I grew up boxing, but I didn't know much about MMA. So, you know, fortunate enough, I get I get drafted by the Chargers when MMA started to get hot, and MMA was probably the biggest on the West Coast. You had some of the best MMA fighters in the world right there in Southern California. So uh, I started training with the, the Randy Gators of the world, the Tito Ortiz, the Chuck Liddells. I mean, you name it. Um, you know, I got a chance to uh, work with all those guys. And fast forward to today, Lights Out Extreme Fighting. And, Sean, this is a, a reimagined version of that California extreme fighting that launched about 15 years ago, right? Yeah, man. Um, you know, what's, what's pretty cool to me is, is how the growth and, um, like, the organic growth, right? So people, uh, we're right now, we're on FUBO Sports. So now you can see us all over the country. And before we were more regional... So, you know, I got, you know, friends I grew up with, my high school football coaches, and everybody like, man, I'm, you know, I'm at home and I'm, watch, I'm watching your league. So uh, that was pretty cool to me, the, the growth of this. Sean, you get a, a courtside seat or a, a cage side seat, I should say, to guys who are really trying to make it, who are grinding to, to get to that next step. What is that like for you to see all the hard work that these guys put in in advance of a card like next Saturday? You know, the I, I think the the funnest part for me is I get a chance to train with, uh, you know, some of the guys, even though some of the guys is fighting on this card. Um, if guys going into a camp, I'll go train for a couple of days, jump in their camp, roll around, do some jujitsu, get on the ground, do some stand up, some sparring, light sparring. Uh, and then so you see how hard these guys work, which is why I never fought. <laughs> right? Like these, these guys, they're doing this six, seven days a week, sometimes two and three times a day. Um, and they're very dedicated. If you had your pick of a member of the Chargers roster today to participate in LX6 or, or any other event, who would it be? Probably Tranquil. Drew Tranquil, huh? Yeah, Drew. I think Drew will be a, um, I think he would be a really, really good MMA fighter. You know, he's strong and athletic, got a really good base. Um, I, I can see him picking up on jujitsu fast uh, because his leverage and ex explosion. Uh, matter of fact, you know, when he's done, I might, I might take a shot at him. So, uh, but I think I think Drew will make a great one.